Hey folks, if you've got a 2002 to 2006 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 2.7 i5 5 liter diesel engine with the NAG1 transmission, you're not able to actually monitor transmission temperature through a standard OBD2 uh, ECU connector. And I've created a fairly simple, really easy to, to use uh, transmission temperature gauge. You'll need to splice into the TCM module one line, the pin 34, which is really easy to do. Um, it's a small millivoltage signal that comes out of the TCM and is actually um, comes from a transmission temperature sensor already inside the transmission itself. And I've got a, a couple of components here that are I'll, I'll assemble in just a second, and you'll see how easy this transmission temperature gauge is to put together and to use. But the components I'm I'm going to show you right here on on the right. This this first component is a 128 by 64 OLED. That's the actual temperature display. It'll read zero to 270 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, the second component here is the actual AD converter. It's a 12-bit ADS1015 12-bit ADC converter um, that, that we're using to convert that millivolt signal into an actual digital value that the microprocessor here can, can actually convert into a display and send over to the LED. Um, this is an actual simple micro USB connector, so we're going to use that for, for the 5-volt power and ground. And then I've got a tiny little 1.5-inch um, by 1 and 3 quarter inch breadboard with some wires that I've already um, pre 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 uh, installed a couple of jumper wires. So we're going to go ahead and install these components and see how this thing works. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, install the microprocessor. Goes in the top up 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 here. Let me get that in. It's a PIC Micro 16F688 microprocessor. Uh, next is the ADC converter. This is again the ADS1015. This is a 12-bit ADC converter. Super simple to use. Next we're going to install the actual micro USB power connector. It's going to provide the 5 volts in the ground to our system. Super simple. That's the micro USB. And then lastly we're going to plug in the, the 4-pin LED. It works on I2C protocol, the I2C protocol, and it's also super simple to use and plug that in. And there you go. All the components are wired. It's a super small, really simple. Um, I'm going to power up in a second. You can see what the display actually looks like. But um, on the back of this small little breadboard, there's um, peel and stick um, double, double sided tape. So you can peel it, stick it right to your dashboard. Super simple. So let's plug this in and see how, see how it does. Let me grab a USB cable. So this is your typical micro USB cable. Let's plug it in and see how it works. Hopefully we've got this on camera. And there you go. That's the boot up sequence and three zeros for, for temperature. Obviously we don't have any signal coming in. Um, again, you're going to wire this to pin 34 um, on your TCM. Uh, it's super simple. Just splice into pin 34, um, pl plug this in and um, I've just got a small millivoltage signal. I can, you can see it actually um, jumping around with the small millivolt signal from my fingers. But um, I've confirmed and verified that the, the actual um, millivolt signal that's output by the TCM is accurately converted into transmission temperature 0 to 270 degrees, it will read. And uh, it's actually probably cl close to plus or minus 2 degrees Fahrenheit in accuracy. Um, so yeah, there you have it. 0 to 270 degree Fahrenheit transmission temperature gauge for... 2002 to 2006 T1N and, and NAG1 transmissions. Have a nice day.